I need everybody to get out a sheet of paper. Mine's purple, it doesn't have to be any color. And I want you to make some observations about it. What observations can you make about your piece of paper or mine? It's smooth. Smooth, okay. It's purple. Purple. It's a rectangle. It's a rectangle. Okay. What if I rip it in half? Now what observations can you make about my paper? You have two pieces now. I have two? Okay. They're smaller. They're smaller? They're still purple. They're still purple? The color did not change. So are those chemical or physical properties? Physical. Physical? Very good. They're physical because it's still paper. The substance did not change. All I did was change the size. Um, what if I take one of these halves and I crumble it up? It's not smooth. It's not smooth. Made it crumbly. It's got it's some wrinkles in it. Okay, so the texture purple. is still purple. It still didn't change the color. Did I change any chemical properties? No. Right, because it's still paper. Okay. But now what if I light the paper on fire? Now what's happening? It's burning. It's burning. It's burning. What else? It's changing colors. It's not purple anymore, okay. Okay, what about this black stuff? What is that? It's ash. Ash. Is ash the same as paper? No. No. This is a chemical reaction because I changed the paper into a new stuff substance, the ash. What about a glow stick? When I crack it, do you think that's a physical or a chemical change? Physical. Physical? So when it starts glowing, can I get it back to not glowing? No. No, I can't go backwards? No. So that means it's a chemical reaction. My glow stick will never be the same as it was before. Okay. So for our experiment today, uh, we're going to hand out the materials and I want the safety monitor to pour the vinegar into the cup and then I want the materials manager to get the thermometer and put it in the cup and measure the temperature and then I want the principal investigator to add a little bit of baking soda to the cup and stir it and then finally I want the recorder to record the final temperature that the thermometer says and I want you all to fill it in on your worksheet. Okay, so looking at your physical and chemical changes lab sheet, we're going to go over what you found. So, Pedro, what did you get for the vinegar and baking soda? What happened? It created bubbles and it gassed. Right, so is this a chemical change or a physical change or neither? I think it was a chemical change. A chemical change, good. Okay, and Edward, what did you get for lemon juice and baking soda? We got bubbles and gas. So is that also a chemical change or is it a physical change? That's also a chemical change. It's also a chemical change. Awesome. And what about the water and tablet? Is it the same thing? It bubbled and gas. So is that also a chemical change? Yes. Awesome. Good job, guys. So for the cup of water, when you put the sugar cube in the cup and add one drop of food coloring, what happened? It changed color. It changed color. So does that make it a physical change? Yes. It does? Why is that? Because it's still sugar. It's still sugar, right. So when the water evaporates, you still have sugar in the cup. Awesome. So safety monitor. When you added the slice of raw potato and observed what, hap what happened, what did you see? The texture changed. The texture changed. So what did you think? Chemical change or physical change? That's a physical change. Physical change, because only the texture changed. Awesome. It's still a potato. Um, what about the hydrogen peroxide? When you placed the potato into it, what happened? A gas came out and bubbles were, were there. Okay, so what did you think it was? A physical, chemical change, or neither? 
I think it was a chemical change. A chemical change, right. Good job. And what about when you squeezed the pipette in the water? What do you think that was? What formed? Bubbles. Bubbles formed. So is that a physical change or a chemical change? I think it was a physical change. Why is that? Because air was moving and that's it. Right, so it's still the liquid. Awesome, good job guys. Okay, I need materials managers to, material managers to come up and get a cup and a bag of Pop Rocks. Okay, and now once you have it at your table, I want you, you and your group to make observations. Edward, what, what have you and your group observed about our Pop Rocks? There's a lot of them. There's a lot of them? Okay, what about individual Pop Rocks? Pedro? They're blue. They're blue? Okay, what about their shape? Are they flat? Yes. Yes, okay. Uh, are they square? Yes. Okay. Um, now using your microscope, I want you to take a closer look. What do you observe? Is there anything on the surface? It looks bubbly. Bubbly? Okay. Interesting observation. Now I want you to leave them in the cup to touch them. And I need the principal investigator to come get a cup of water. Okay, now that every group has a cup of water, I want, you, I want the recorder to pour a little bit of water in the cup with your Pop Rocks. And then I want you to draw on your worksheet what you observe. What did you and your group observe about your Pop Rocks after the water was added? There's a lot of popping. So you can hear it? Okay. Pedro, what did you guys observe? Bubbles everywhere. Bubbles everywhere. It's kind of like fizzing. Do you think this is a chemical or a physical change? Chemical. Okay. What evidence do you have that it's chemical? Because the water mixing with the candy is making bubbles. Making bubbles, so those bubbles are CO2 being released off of the Pop Rocks. Um, so the CO2 was already present on the Pop Rocks, so we didn't actually create a new substance. The substance was already there. Therefore, this is a physical change because the Pop Rocks are still Pop Rocks and the CO2 was already present. And now we're going to clean up our area. So I need the materials manager to bring up their Pop Rocks, uh, the principal investigator to bring up their cups of water, and then I need everybody seated so we can start to show what you know. Okay guys, now we're going to do the show what you know. So we're going to come around and pass out the paper and take a minute and work by yourselves to fill it out. Okay, so Pedro, what did you get for number one on the show what you know? I got D. D. So, the difference between a chemical and a physical change is that a chemical change yields a new substance. Good job. So, number two. Why does mixing baking soda and vinegar result in bubbling slash foam? Edward. I pick C. C. The vinegar and baking soda react, creating a gas. Good job. Okay, and number three, we're given two pictures. One, is, one says basic photosynthesis, and the other one says liquid water. Uh, Pedro, what did you get for the picture of photosynthesis? I think it was a chemical change. Chemical change, right. Photosynthesis starts out as water, and we end up with glucose in the plant, creating really pretty green plants. Very good. Um, Edward, what did you get for the liquid water? Physical. Physical, very good. So no matter what, what phase of the cycle it's in, it's still water. Um, number four, uh, Pedro, what did you get? I got B. B. So a student mixes two solutions together, one clear and one blue. They want to see what kind of change occurred. Which of the following indicates that the change must have been a chemical change? You selected a solid form at the bottom. Very good. A new substance was created. Very good job. Well, that's it 